Marcus, you go into the last day of the season with the title within reach. How do you and the players approach that game? Um, I suppose in terms of preparation for our game, uh, it's normal, you know, which we've done all, all year, um, because that's all we can affect at the moment. So, but we do need Gates to 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 do us a favour, of course, and get a some sort of result, a win or a draw. But we need to concentrate on our own because we have to win the game. This, if we don't win the games, we're not going up. So we have to win the game, and hopefully other things out of our control, fall into place. How frustrating was it then last Saturday to drop that point, those two points with a couple of minutes to go? It, that frustration lasted with me for about a minute. And then after that, it was a case of, OK, we've, 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 we've drawn the game. Barnet have drawn. Um, we expected Barnet to win. Barnet probably expected us to win. And we both expected probably to go into the last game of the season. And as it happens, that's how it is. So the disappointing thing was that we had a chance to go top and put the last game of the season in our own hands. That's not the case now, as we know. So, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty good at seeing the positive side of something. And that's what I did after so about a minute. Is it easy to you lift yourself OK? Is it easy to lift the players as well after that? Uh, no, it's not. Of course not, no. Um, and at, as soon as you get in the dressing room, some things you say to them... Sometimes it's better off saying nothing to them because whatever you say doesn't make any difference whatsoever. They've only got their own thoughts and their own, you know, their own body language that's going on. You can just see it. But like this group of players have done before, they're very good at uh, dealing with disappointment. And within half an hour of us being on the team, coach, you know, they were very quiet at the start, a bit somber, and after that, they were just finally getting back to themselves, having a laugh and a joke and. Um, not that they don't care, but uh, it's a good sign that they're picking themselves up and they're not thinking about what's just happened, they're thinking about what might happen next week. So training then has been quite positive this week, has it? Training's been great, they've been, you know, they came in training, they're, they're great, we didn't, have to, we didn't have to pick them up at all. They were on form like they normally are and, and normally enjoying each other's company and um, the normal things that go on in the training ground at a football club. Um, and they were, they were, they've been great all week. Now, you like to play in front of a capacity crowd, 11,000. That's quite something for a fifth-tier game, isn't it? It's great. You know, I, you know the attendance is, you know, I would say this season have... have I don't know what this as a fact, Keith, but I would have thought that they're being, you know, in the top half of the League 2 attendances, you know, not let, let alone um, um, this league, and maybe even League 1. So, um, the fans have been great this year. You know, they come out... We had to turn them around maybe at the start of the season a bit and try and... You know, get them on our side, and I think the new group of players have done that. There's no doubt about that. Um, and they, 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 they've stuck with us, and um, let's hope that they stick with us for this last game of the season. You, you do have a good blend in the dressing room, don't you? Youth and experience, and they, they seem to mix and gel well together. Yeah, they do. You know, you got the youngest lad; he's 18, probably um, 17. We've had a couple of you know, scholars train with us. Um, to the oldest lad, I'm not sure who that is. Is one or two of them. I mock them quite a lot about that as well because they're not too far behind me. But you know they they get on well together and it's 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 about um, it's about a good team spirit as well. And just because you're 35 years old doesn't mean that you know you can't take advice from an 18 year old sometimes and and talk to him about some things that you might do off the pitch. And there is a you know there is a big gap sometimes, but they haven't shown that there's no ageism in the, in, the, in the dressing room at all. While all the focus is on Rovers perhaps winning the title, I think we tend to forget maybe that Alfreton need to win to save their, to guarantee possibly staying in the league. It's not going to be an easy game, is it? No, let's hope they don't. <laughs> but they, they are, they're, they're going to provide tough opposition. Of course they are. They're like every team that's come here, and um, you know, um, that's they've got to win the game. Um, we well, they haven't got to win the game. We've got to win the game. We've got to. They might get away with a draw, depending on the results. We've got to win the game. Just if you, have you looked beyond the game Saturday? If the title isn't clinched on Saturday, you're in the playoffs. Do, do yeah, you look beyond quite, of course, yeah. You yeah. have to have to prepare for what might happen. But I try not to talk, to, talk about it. Okay. As a player, were you involved in any last day scenarios like this one? Not very many. I was just saying um, on a, another station that that same thing. I don't. I don't remember loads. Um, no, I don't. No. Well, you know, good. Good playoff. Pushes last ten games, 
and it might have happened, might have not, but I don't remember many happening on the last game of the season. No. It's a totally different scenario to last season, isn't it? When you had to win to stay in the league, now you need to win, hopefully, to go up. I think it'll flip itself ranked. Yeah. That's what I've believed all along.